Hey guys, it's Sunday, so that means it's time for another coffee chat. Um, if I'm a little not quite as loud in this video, I'm sorry, but someone is reading in the other room and I'm trying not to disturb him. So, um, I call this coffee chat, but um, I don't have coffee today. I have tea. I have tea in my Good Mythical Morning mug because um, there's only one... Okay, we have a Keurig and um, got it for Christmas a couple of years ago. So we've been using the Keurig instead of like an actual coffee pot. And uh, we have one cup left. We have one little pod left and I don't want to be the one to use the last pot of coffee. <laughs> so um, tea is just as fine. So I I did have one cup of coffee this morning, but this is my second cup and it's not coffee, it's tea. But there you go. So I got a lot of comments on last week's vlog. Some of them I just got a couple of days ago, but that's fine. That's totally cool. Welcome to the new people who have just subscribed. I know of at least three. So uh, yeah, <laughs> welcome to you. Um, let's go ahead and answer some questions from the comment section of the last video. So um, I wrote them down and I wrote down some answers, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so um, Dan asked, ah, top five or more subreddits you visit. Um, I don't really, I don't really use Reddit very often. I do have an account and I don't look at it a lot. Um, but there are a few things that I do look at on there. Uh, one of those is, um, <clears throat> One of those is YouTube. I look at the YouTube page on there, uh, but that's mostly when something is going wrong with YouTube and I wanna see if I'm the only one who's having the problem. So I look at that. I uh, look at the Minecraft one. I think that's the only one that I'm subbed to. Uh, so I look at that one just to see what all is going on, if there are any like cool pictures that people are sending or um, things like that. Um, but mostly what I look at is, um, the Walking Dead, uh, Game of Thrones, and college football, because those are the things that um, when there is a big football game going on, or if there's a new episode of The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones, I usually check the Reddit page on those just to see what, um, what people are saying, because sometimes people get really, really mad at things, and it's really funny to see people complaining and uh, sometimes it'll be like some surprise thing and people are su surprised by something and it's just fun to kind of see what's going on on those sometimes. So those are the ones that I look at. Um, <clears throat> and then sometimes if somebody has like and does like an AMA that I'm interested in, I'll read that like back a couple, about a month ago, I guess, Rhett and Link did an AMA and so I uh, kind of looked at that, but I don't look at Reddit very often. So uh, yeah. <clears throat> don't know if I really have a top five, but those are five, I think I've said five things, five things that uh, I look at sometimes. Okay, so Dan also asked, the last picture you took with your phone. Okay, um, I don't take very many pictures with my phone. I do Snapchat, but um, I don't save those, so I don't know. Um, so I just went to my camera on my phone, and the most recent one um, at the time that you asked about it was a picture of my backyard when it snowed. So I guess I can show you guys that. But uh, I have taken some pictures since then. And um, yeah, so this is the last picture that I took with my phone. Yeah, so that is from this weekend. I went out with my best friend and we were looking for a band for her wedding or wedding reception. And um, yeah. So, um, that is the last picture that I took with my phone. Okay, so, uh, Dan also asks, because he had to ask a lot of questions, um, which is fine. I absolutely love it because that gives me stuff to answer. Uh, so he also asks, what games are you planning on streaming after Skyrim and Rise of the Tomb Raider? So, um, oh, and he also says Morrowind full playthrough hype. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you watch my Twitch or Beam, you will know that I have been playing Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, I actually finished it. I finished it last Monday, I think it was, or Tuesday. I can't remember exactly when I streamed, but uh, yeah, I finished it last week. And um, as soon as I finished Rise of the Tomb Raider, I started playing the uh, Hardcore Museum season four. 
So I was streaming that and I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if it's just going to be a Twitch thing because I kind of don't want it to be. But um, also, I really don't want to have to edit it. But <laughs> I think I will. I'll just edit the streams and they may be really, really long videos for that. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Not completely sure. Like I said, Hardcore Museum, yes. Um, I mentioned in one of my streams that once I'm done with Skyrim Bachelorette, I am thinking of uh, creating a male character in Skyrim and doing Skyrim Bachelor, where I woo all of the lady folk in the game, which would be interesting because I, I've never wooed a woman before. <laughs> so I was thinking about doing that because I've had a lot of fun with Skyrim Bachelorette and uh, people seem to like it. So I thought that it would be interesting to do a different version of it. And also um, I would probably keep that character and play um, some of the different storylines a different way than I'm playing with my female character. Because there are some quests that I have never done that um, I might want to do. Like mostly when I play, I play um, as an Imperial instead of a Stormcloak and I've never done the Stormcloak storyline so I think I may have to do that. And also there's like Dark Brotherhood and um, stuff which kind of clashes with some of my other things on my um other character i don't know it's 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 complicated um so yeah i was thinking of doing that um other than that i don't really know i have some telltale games that i've never played um i have one that i haven't finished because i started doing uh, minecraft story mode and i did i think the first three episodes of that and i never finished it and um I may stream that. I may try to finish that up. And uh, there are some extra episodes with that. I think there are three extra episodes. And I bought those because they were on sale in the um, Steam sale in December. So uh, the winter Steam sale, whatever. Anyway, so I bought those. So I thought I might play that too. And um, then I have uh, their Game of Thrones uh, video game that I've never played. And I also have their Batman one that they just came out with and um i have the newest walking dead season that they have made so yeah plus i have they have like a back to the future game that i also have that i've never played and it's always kind of intrigued me so i don't know maybe i'll play that one too so lots of telltale games that i have to play um but i don't know if i will actually play them on the stream but who knows i it depends i guess on whether i'm feeling up to it um, I also have a game called Abzu, I guess is how you pronounce it. And uh, basically it's like you're swimming underwater with a bunch of fish. And I thought it looked really pretty and I thought that I might stream that at some point. But I've heard that it's really hard to play if you don't have a controller and I do not have a controller. So I don't know how well that's going to do. Um, other games that I have that I could play, I have The Long Dark. I have Stranded Deep. I have Mark of the Ninja, which I've had for years and have just never played it. Um, I have Half-Life and Half-Life 2, which I have never played. I know, I know, I've never played Half-Life and Half-Life 2. Go ahead, boo me in the comments. Um, I've also never played The Last of Us, so yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are things that I could stream if I wanted to or if you guys wanted to see it. Um, I Like I said, I do have Morrowind um, and I've never played it, but I don't know if I want to play that on a stream. Um, I have a feeling that I would get really frustrated with it because I know it's not the same like mechanics and stuff as Skyrim and um, I didn't really like Oblivion that much so I don't know. I've, I've heard that Morrowind is like the best one of the series though but who knows. So yeah I do have that and I just found out last week that Finding Paradise is going to be coming out and if you don't know what Finding Paradise is well it is the sequel to To the Moon and To the Moon is one of my favorite video games of all time. Oh my gosh. I've already played it twice. Um, I'm really thinking about playing it a third time and maybe streaming it this time. Uh, so it'll take me, it would probably take me about two and a half hours or so to get through it. And um, that's a good amount for streaming. And plus there are characters that you get to voice and things. And um, you guys know how much I like to voice characters sometimes. So uh, there's that. And also, um, it's just a really, really, really good game, and I recommend it to anyone who has never played it. 
it is a little indie game. And um, yeah, there's also a, um, there are two little mini-sodes that go with it. And there's a prequel to the sequel. So there's a prequel to Finding Paradise called A Bird Story, which I've also played. And um, yeah, so Finding Paradise is supposed to come out in summer of this year. And uh, they already have a Steam page for it, so I'm just waiting for that to go up. I've already put it on my wish list because I want that game so badly. <sighs> it will probably make me cry because that's just what those games do. But it's if it's anything like To the Moon, I know that I'm going to absolutely love it. And yeah, so I thought I might stream To the Moon again and um, play through it again. And... <sighs> Yeah. Gosh, I love that game. Okay. So, uh, yeah, those are some of the things that I've been thinking about. So yeah, who knows what it will actually be though. Okay. So, um, other stuff. The only other person who asked a question was JJ Bonzig. So, uh, JJ asks, have you been singing your whole life? Have you had lessons or professional training? Um, and <laughs> you have such a lovely voice. Well, thank you. Um, I have never had lessons or professional training. I have always been a big fan of Disney films. I've been watching Disney since I was a wee little girl. And um, I guess I just tried to imitate Disney princesses when they sang. And maybe that's why I like to sing Disney princess songs. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's just basically a lot of imitation. I would listen to people and try to imitate them. And um, sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. And um, yeah, but I've never had any like training. Um, I, I'm not very musically inclined. I um, can play a little bit of the piano. I took a couple of piano lessons when I was really little and, um, well, I say real, really little, but I was probably about eight or nine. And um, <clears throat> my piano teacher moved away after I had like two or three lessons. And so I never had any more lessons. So I can kind of pick out notes like uh, sheet music. Um, not very good at it though. Uh, mostly if I play something, I just, um, I don't use sheet music. I normally would just kind of play by ear and, uh, yeah, but my grandparents had piano that they got for me and, um, I would go over to their house and practice over there and stuff. And, um, yeah, I've always liked music, but, um, never been very good at actually playing music. So I guess I had to make up for it by trying to sing. So yeah, <laughs> uh, speaking of singing, I was, and speaking of To The Moon also, there's a song in, uh, in To The Moon called Everything's All Right. And I actually have a cover of it on this channel, but um, it's a few years old and I was thinking that I might try redoing it and, um, doing it with this mic that I have now, because this mic is a lot better than the mic that I had before, which was just on a headset. Um, but basically what I do is, or the other version of it I have, I took um, someone else's cover of it on guitar, and that person of course is Dan. So um, Dan put a cover of it on his channel, and I took that cover and I sang over it and posted it. And um, it's, I think my highest viewed uh, video on this channel because it got, uh, because another YouTuber used it for something and, uh, it brought a lot of people to watch it. So I don't know how many views it has, but it's like, I want to say like 800. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've got that. Um, but I was thinking I might try it again, like I said, and, uh, just do a, do a newer version of it with a better microphone and see how that goes. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it or not, but uh, we'll see. So, um, yeah, basically I just tried to sing like a Disney princess and sometimes I can sing really well and sometimes I can't. <laughs> and yeah. Okay. So those were all of the questions that I got from the last episode, from the last uh, coffee chat. Um, I did think of some other topics that I could talk about. So, uh, one of those is a little something that I call Kit Kat gambling. Um, so we have a vending machine at work and, uh, <laughs> there are these big Kit Kats in them. And I'm not talking about, um, I'm not talking about like a king size Kit Kat bar. 
If you don't know what a Kit Kat is, it's like a wafer covered in chocolate, basically. And they usually come in a package of four stuck together. And uh, if you get the king size, then you get like, it's a package of like eight stuck together. And uh, these are not that kind. They're like, um, I think they're called like a big break or something. So it's just like a bigger version. So it's like this huge one single Kit Kat. Um, but we have those in the vending machine at work. And the thing is, the way that the guy sets them up in the vending machine, it looks like one is constantly about to fall um, just by itself. Just if you just hit the vending machine just right, you could probably make it fall. But of course, I don't do that. I, that's just no. Um, but occasionally, if I see it like that, I'll think, hmm, well, maybe, maybe just maybe if I get one Kit Kat, maybe a second one will fall. <laughs> So we call that at work Kit Kat gambling. And um, there are only two of us that do it, but uh, yeah, me and a coworker. And uh, <laughs> occasionally, on a very, very rare occasion, I will do that and a second one drops. And the second one dropped this week because I saw it set up like that and I tried it and immediately got two Kit Kats. So I was <laughs> really excited that day, <laughs> even though I gave one of them away. But um, yeah, so it's. It's really cool. I don't think that my coworker has ever got it to work for her, but I have, it's worked for me twice before. <laughs> Maybe I'm just lucky. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, Kit Kat gambling. It's really fun. <laughs> so, um, what else? Um, I have other stuff to talk about and it is YouTube things. So YouTube, um, I've noticed that I'm getting a lot of spam YouTube comments. So it's a lot of people that are like, I, I consider it spam anyway, because it's a lot of, hey, cool video. Now, can you like go check out mine? And no, I don't. I mean, maybe I'll check out a couple of your videos. But if you're doing that on my videos, I'm honestly, I'm probably going to look at it and go, I never want to watch this person's videos. If you make a comment and it's like a really nice comment, it has something to do with what's going on in the game and my playthrough of it, you know, there's a bigger chance that I will check out your stuff that way than if you do like a sub for sub kind of thing. And what really annoys me is I got one earlier this week that was, let me, let me actually find it. So this guy sends me one and says, love your video, man. It will be cool if you can sub to me. Keep up the great work, man. First of all, not a man. So, um, did you even watch the video? Second, no, I'm not going to do a sub for sub that is like so 2012, but yeah, really, um, think of something, you know, that actually goes with what is going on in the video. I've never, I, I, I don't think I've ever done anything like that. So yeah, I don't know. It just gets on my nerves and I've been getting a lot of those lately on both channels and I don't know why suddenly I'm getting all of this, but sure, whatever. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is that earlier this week, I tweeted something about my watch later list and <laughs> how it was, I had gotten it down to like less than 150 videos and now it's up to like 900 something. Yeah. Um, so that happens a lot for me. Uh, I, I love my watch later list and sometimes I just don't want to, um, watch things as they come into my sub box actually a lot of things I don't like to do. And I also like that I can go into my watch later list and I can organize things so I can have all of a person's, um, series right there together. And I can just watch through them all. And a lot of times when I watch videos, I watch them on double speed and I watch them when I'm doing other things, but occasionally I will subscribe to a new person and, um, I go back and <laughs> I put every single one of their videos on my sub feed or maybe not every single one, but the ones that I'm interested in, I will put them on there. So lately I, um, I went back and I put a bunch of, um, memory heart videos on my watch later list, which hers are really short. So it doesn't take as long to get through those. Plus, since I always like watch things at double speed, you know, it's not quite as bad, but, um, then I have people who, uh, post their live streams and things on there. So it may be like a two hour video. And of course that's going to be, if I'm doing it double, that's still going to be an hour just to watch one video. So that's how my, 
<laughs> that's how my list gets so long. But um, so I, so I put like a bunch of memory stuff on there, and then that got my stuff up, and that got my list up to like three hundred something, which wasn't that bad. But then, since I've also been playing a lot of um, Minecraft maps, uh, <laughs> I've been putting more videos on my watch list, and that's because I want to see other people play those after I've played them. Um, when I got back from Minecon, I subscribed to a couple of people that I had met there, and so then I started putting their videos on my watch later list. So, um, I mean, it was mainly three people, I think, because I had a bunch from Unlikely Waffle, I had a bunch from CDF Man, and I had a bunch from Wreckabilly. So I had like all of their video, well, not all of their videos, but I had a lot of their videos on my watch later list. And, um, I've been slowly going through those, but some of them, like Unlikely Waffle, plays a lot of Minecraft maps, and I didn't want to watch his, all of his, because he was playing maps that I wanted to play that I haven't played yet, so um, I had to keep those separate from the other ones, and uh, my list got all crazy. So this week I realized, you know, I haven't watched a lot of Ars Malik's old videos. So I went back and I went through all of his videos and just started putting so many on my watch later list. So that's how I ended up having almost 1000 videos on my watch later list. I've actually made it all the way down to like 800 something now. I think I'm close to 850. Oh my gosh. But um, yeah, that's what I do. And um, so I've been watching a lot. And then I feel really weird because... I'll watch these things and I'll comment on them sometimes and then I realize, oh my gosh, that video is from 2012 and I just commented on it and I feel like a doofus, but whatever, I'm sure they don't mind. So yeah, so I've got a lot of, <laughs> I've got a lot of Ron's videos on my list right now and um, I've still got a few of, I've still got a few Wreckabilly and CDF Demand and Unlikely Waffle ones also, so I'm trying to get through all of those, but um, and then I've got other people, plus I've got ones from my sub feed that are like newer videos. <laughs> it's going to take me so long to get through these, but it's fine. So that's, that's why my watch later list gets so out of control. Um, if you ever wondered, yeah. Okay. So I have talked a lot longer than I expected to today. So I'm guessing I should probably stop it here and I'll see you guys next week. Like last week, if you have any questions that you would like me to answer next week when I do my coffee chat, uh, just post them down in the comments and I will get to them next week. I'm, I'm trying to do this every week. Now there's going to be one um, Sunday that I'm not going to be able to do this, but it's going to be because I'll be on a cruise and yeah. So, um, but I'll talk about that later. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Leave some questions below for me to answer. Um, if you have any topics that you would like me to cover, do that also. And I'll try to think of some stuff to talk about throughout the week. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.